So let's just say you're editing a batch of photos, you're copying and pasting your adjustments from one photo to the next to keep them nice and consistent. Then all of a sudden you paste and that image looks nothing like the one that you pasted it from. The lighting might have changed, your settings might have changed, you might have changed lenses. For whatever reason, the images don't match. Keep watching because I'm gonna show you a way to perfectly match your images quickly and easily in Lightroom. Hey, my name is Charlotte Reeves and welcome to another editing toolbox video where we share one quick tip, trick or technique to help make your pet photography editing life easier. So this time I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily match the edits from one photo to the other when copying and pasting doesn't do the trick. For example, this image here of Teddy at our recent Barcelona workshop. So normally I would just copy and paste the settings onto the next image. So let's give that a go. We need to be in develop module and let's just press command C to copy. I'm going to copy the masks over as well, except for the eyes because they're not going to be lined up in the right spot. So I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go across to this image here and paste. Now, why does this look so wrong? So this is where I copied it from. This is where I copied it to. You can see these images are not the same. And the reason why is because of the lens. So I actually changed from shooting with a 70 to 200 f 2.8 lens to shooting with a 50 mil lens at 1.2. In changing the lens, changing the settings slightly, it has basically meant that copying and pasting the settings doesn't really work. So I can compare the two images quite easily. So if I select them both, hold down shift, select them both, I can press C on the keyboard. That will take me back to library module and I can actually see the images next to each other, but I can't really do any editing because I'm in library mode. Now you can go back into develop and then you can kind of flick between the two and maybe make some adjustments to this image here. Flick back to this one, have a look flick back to this one. But I mean, to be honest, it's not very efficient and it's kind of relying on your eyes to do a superhuman job. But luckily there's a much better way of doing this. Now, if you don't see this gray toolbar here at the bottom in develop module, you just have to press T on the keyboard that will toggle that on and off. Now there's a mode in here called reference mode. It's gonna be a lifesaver in these situations. So this little icon here that says R and A, which is reference and active, you just need to click that. Now the image on the left, it will tell you that's the reference image. So that's the one you're looking at. The image on the right is the active image. So that's the image you're making changes to in the develop module. So you just need to make sure the right image is in the right spot. So this image on the left is your reference photo. So you can right click on any image in the timeline and say set as reference photo, or you can just click and drag into there. So if I wanted to use a different image, I can put that in there instead. And then basically whatever other image in your film strip there that you click on once, it will put in your active. So I can click on this one, or I can click on this one. This one's the one that we need to do the changes to to get it matching the one on the left. So the image on the right, now that I can see them right next to each other, I can identify what the differences are. So one on the right is greener and darker and maybe not as warm. So let's just tweak these settings a little bit. Okay, I think I've got them looking fairly good. Okay, so that's a really quick and easy way to adjust an image in relation to another image and being able to see them both at the same time is absolutely invaluable. Oh, and when you're finished, all you need to do is click next to R and A and it'll take you back to the original photo. So I hope you found that little tip helpful. I'll catch you again soon for another editing toolbox video. But for now, see you later.